What is it, Good Word Gang? Matt here. Where'd my, my light went out? Literally, my light just went out here in the office. <laughs> Hope you're doing well. We're going to have a little game. Can you play this? But first of all, can you just do a hammer on? Let's say on the G chord. C chord. Now, all I'm doing, as you can see, I'm playing a G chord. But just before I play it, I have my first finger off and then put the first finger on. So let me know in the comment section below, can you do that? Can you just do us a regular and hammer on on a C again, you hammer on the fourth string on a D. You see me do this all the time. People ask me about it. That's a simple trick. That's all I'm doing is regular. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is can you do this kind of rounded out? I do this on a song like, uh, uh, don't close your eyes. Let it So all you're doing, keep the bottom two locked. Go play a G. Then top finger on the top string. So first finger, top string, second fret. Then the fifth string, second fret. Then G. So don't close your eyes. Let it be. Right there, see I did two G's, two kind of D over S, what it's called. Two that kind of regular E, like kind of E minor, only just, only instead of, instead of both strings, just top fifth string and a C. All right, people ask me all the time about a B minor. They get to a B minor and they can't play it. Can you, first of all, can you play an A minor? So second string and fourth and third, from the bottom five. For a B minor, you're gonna slide that up two frets to third and fourth. Let's try the bottom four. Can you do that? Right there. So a regular B minor, you would bar the whole second fret. Like that. I'm not very good at bar chords, y'all probably aren't either. But a, but a if you want to do this little trick version, play your A minor, slid up two frets. People ask me often about a B chord. When I see a B chord, again, rather than all these bar chords, all I do is play one of my track chords. So I take my ring finger and pinky finger, play the two middle strings of the fourth fret, I take my first finger, kind of angle it, because you want to play that to the side of your finger, play the fifth string of the second fret. So if I see a B, that's what I go to. So a lot of times you'll see E, A, B, E. So that's a C sharp right there. That's a B. Now the thing, can you do that? I know I was going to do this lesson, as you can tell. I said, I'm just going to jump in here. Whatever God puts in my heart. Go jam a little bit. Another thing I love doing, you hear me see me do. So, so top string down up. There you go. Hammer on that four string. Then four string open. See, I'm hammering on that fifth string at the end. So six, down up, hammer the fourth string, down up, four open, down up, hammer on the fifth. I should have brought my pick. That's not the last little thing. Can you play guitar without a pick? Sometimes I don't have a pick. I just use my, um, 
I'm waiting to see when my dad and brother come back from lunch in the office. I used kind of the corner of my fingernail. Also, not use a pick because I will sail my vessel till the river runs dry like a bird from the wind. These waters on my sky. I'm never... So, if you can do that kind of pinch, pinch, and pluck. You know, the dream is like a river, ever changing as it flows. But the dream, you know. Crickets are singing and lightning bugs are floating on the breeze. Maybe get ready. All right, guys, I'm jumping in real fast. Check out my website for all my guitar books, DVDs, all that good stuff. CountrySongTeacher.com. Also, be sure to subscribe to my other two channels, Acoustic Selection, and my name is Matt McCoy's. I do a lot of prime country. Oh, no. Check it out. Country Song Teacher Acoustic Selection, Matt McCoy. Love you guys. Give the video a smash that like button and subscribe. Holla.